Yeah, uh, we settled on that first, but in the meantime, we use my phone because my phone would never make it for the whole thing. I think that's a problem with Streamlab bit. Yeah, we so. Are we live? Yeah, we are live. Oh. Neural, Neural, can you remind all of them to step on the track? You want me to press the phone? Uh, yes. Because my phone won't last. <laughs> Alright, I gotta get started at commentary as well. Yep, you can. <laughs> oh no. Okay, yeah. Uh, we shouldn't be locking it, because the moment you lock it, we cannot actually swivel. Yeah, so it shouldn't be fully locked. I'll see you this. Let me re download stream maps. That's the thing. Yeah. I just delete that. Yeah. I need someone to help. Oh, this is yeah. so <laughs> I need someone to help post it on Instagram. That's cute. Is Nero free? Yeah, Nero's. Let me just do this first. Can you help do that? Yeah. Oh, it's a good Oh, still grab.
Alright everyone, sorry for the delay, some technical difficulties. This is how we here joining you live from EJC. We got a semis between Shok and ZD. Um, should be a really interesting matchup uh, between both teams. Both teams doing really well, undefeated all the way through. Um, and both with really, really strong confidence coming into this game. Right, score right now is ZDB Knight 1, Shok defend nil. You'll see the score on the top left hand side of the screen. Javil with the disc. Javil and Javis. Wouldn't expect anything crazy from them right now. Easy swings, moving in this round. There we go. Show bringing it to 1 1 as expected. No break so far. Really interesting thing with these two teams. Shok's team, Shok deny maybe it's about 70 80 percent of the team that was part of the national team that went over WCC this year. And if I look over to ZD team, that team has probably about 70 percent that has gone to either WCC this year or the last under 24 worlds. So high caliber high quality players all around um zd is interesting because you know watching the systems bringing people together they've got a very strong identity of how to play ultimate um you know so let's see how they pan out chin here to this the kelly looks like um it's like a zone guys can you not we're doing a live stream here so if you want to talk so far on the other side see the teammate this on the sidelines very comfortable there train here the disc swing off to kelly interesting not not quite kicking it out just yet happy to suck the cut in All right there's a lot of space downfield Ooh. Daryl very aware, slightly floaty. Great D. Good anticipation by Braden. Sammy now the disc. Show taking it slow, moving in this around between your players, getting a structure set up. Sits to the Braden. Braden without the mark. Aaron Sia filling in that space. Nicely done, Aaron. All right. Show playing at a high speed. Inside looked off. Go to your round. Both Aaron and Sam were at it. Very smooth, very comfortable. High movement from the handlers. Aaron Sierra doing what he does best. So <laughs> Seems to be a call. Uh, not sure whether it makes a difference the way that Shop was moving at this. Such high speeds. Defense standing on the break, they get beat on the open. Standing on the open, they get beat on the break. Um, Nicely done. Shook there with a break. 2 1.
to help do the. You wanna switch, please? Oh. Oh. Can help to do the panning. Okay. Looks like another D line from Shulk. You got Jethro, Prem, Darren, four girls, Max, Sherlock, Shawnee, and Angel. Some might say not the fastest team, but there's definitely a lot of experience on that line. ZD, more or less the same old line as just now. All right. Not a zone this time around. It's person defense. Massive yardage gain of Shirley. Shirley, great in cut. Up the line. Just made it. This is on the sideline. Let's see what they get out. Let's see what the ZD moves off the sideline. Traditionally, very comfortable moving up the sidelines from, uh, from ZD. That's what you get when you get a, a team that is comfortable putting it deep, so more piston shaped cuts. You know, up and down the field, in and out, rather than open and break. So that's what you can expect from ZD. Um, I think they'll be happy just pumping up yards, up the line. There we go, it goes up. We have a crowd. Ooh. Three short players around Shinye. That's a hard one. I think a call to be made. Jethro definitely coming from behind. I guess the question is whether Jethro went over him. Well, not my place to make the call. Let's wait and see what how it's resolved. See in the far field, we've got the other semi finals, which is Freak Show against Shock Defend. Again, two very high quality teams. We should make for a good game. Sadly, we can only bring you one live stream, um, but we will try to keep you posted on the score in the field. Right. Looks like the call has been brought back. Contested foul. Right, ZD retains the disc. Turnover off the swing. Shook now with an opportunity to break again. Sell out the disc. Jethro playing very, very calm. Darren with a put the prem. Ooh. Good hits up defense. The defender just about put prem off. I think prem wasn't expecting me that low, but at the same time, defender turned around, saw the disc, stuck her hand out. Good defense, good awareness there. Still moving, keeping on the open side, still moving. Apologies for language, guys, if you're overhearing. Um, hey. You too, bro. ZD moving this up, open side again. There we go, that's up and down, piston cuts, great cut deep. Oh. Just about. Really good, really good deep cut. The separation there, just the throw ever so slightly beyond reach. But as we said, that's what we have. That's what ZD will bring. ZD will bring a really good deep game. But when you start stopping them open and deep, they do have their break side flow as well. And that's the reason why they're in the semis. Not an easy team. All right, Shook with an early timeout. Score is 2-1, one break up. Can focus on the other field. Yep, we can bring you action on the other field. Um, freak show in green, traditional colors. Looks like a zone that's put on. A lot of good mobility from the freak show handlers. Doreen to this, to Brendan, moving this quickly to Gerald. 
Fling it, low stall count. So far it's comfortable, let's see whether Shook transitions out of this. Looks like a call's made. There is one deep player camping out. And you've got, I think that's Shuhui there. So there is always an outlet. And Yongta taking a good position to make the last deep deep choose. So watch that space. There's always an outlet for Freak Show if they if they decide and if Greg gambles a little bit. Great layout D by Raynet. Great layout D. Good anticipation of swing. Full extension. Freak Show scramble. Scrambling their defense. Yongta on defense. Let's see what Shok does. Oh! Just slightly out of reach. Uncharacteristic, you expect. You know, show to have a lot of maturity. But back to the grind for them, back to defense. Freak show slowing the pace down a little bit, not quite the low stall count movement. Right, getting stuck on the sideline again. Now they're moving it out. Yeah, moving straight to the middle field. Everybody's switching around, keeping it in the middle. Seeing the break side. Gerald has it. Very casual. All this movement is going to pay dividend. Alright, bringing it back to field A. On the main game, Shogs back time after the timeout. See a lot of the discs. Nice spread offense. Krem's the deepest player. Max in the middle. We'll watch Max number 84 in the movement. Alright, and this side to move backwards first. I have to say Shok's offense just looks a little bit cluttered at the moment. It's not creating space in front of the disc. Which makes any yardage getting past just difficult. Wow. The travel call. Enjoy the disc. When you've got a player directly in front of the disc, kind of plays a bit of ISO, which is what Xiao Long does really well. It's a foul call there. No contest. Very tight D by ZD. Really, really playing it. Giving no space at all. Shook doing well under pressure. Again, hitting the ISO. Small passes through the middle. Girls really taking charge. Slight miss throws. It may look like Shook struggling a little bit, but you gotta give credit to ZD and the defense. Just stifling defense. This is this is the O line, mind you. Right, so these guys definitely are working hard when they when they lose the disc. Exactly what you're gonna see from your line. Good oh, reset under pressure. Shinya taking charge on the sideline again. Let's see if they move it out. Oh. Started with the throw just slightly too low. Right. 
not looking great for ZD right now on the O line. Prem, slight miscom, almost turned away. Still early stages in the game. Turnovers might be a sign of nerves. Um, Shok might come to regret this slightly. They've got. They've had chances to break. Um, offense is not really working. And yeah, ZD punched them. ZD line holes, 2 2. ZD's keeping it tight, keeping it close. Well, early start, game of 15. Just a reminder to everyone, it's slightly longer than the group stages. 90 minute game, so there's a lot more of ultimate action. Stay tuned, there'll be a few twists and turns. I'm pretty sure of that. Isolated up the field, 1v1. Will she get there? Mm. Like nothing wrong with the cut. The cut was, was great. Throw and go movement and isolation down the field. Darren has to be slightly disappointed with that. Now, let's take a look at Shook's transition defense. You would need them to be tight. Oh, Cleon. G probably thought he had a sniff at that, but good use of the body from Cleon. Protecting the disc. Retaining possession, so important in his own end zone. Great cut. Great cut from Inez. Yeah, really good movement. Really good movement. Inez again. Big swing. Oh, massive layout bid. And they're taking the slightly risky option, thinking that Keon's free. But Javel totally read that, saw that come in. Mm. Not quite dialed in. Both lines offensive, both teams offensive lines, not quite dialed in right now. You know, giving the D line a little bit of a sniff. Creating space again, playing down the sidelines. There's a deep shot. Houston looking up. Arvin and Chase. Really good. Really nice. Z 
ZD very, very willing to take risks and in that case it pays off so well done ZD Alright, Shield's gonna be kicking themselves Had the opportunity with Darian's Cup initially Had the opportunity when after Javel's insane layout bid yeah, Not quite consolidating We'll be right back guys, we're just gonna change out the IT, uh, give us 30 seconds, be right back. Line starting again. Uh, nothing wrong with this show's offense. It was really good isolation uh, to get Darian in a position. Tristan and Darian, very strong combination. Um, really nice break. Tristan putting it up. Oh, Darian and Davis there. Two v one doesn't stop Darian. It's hard to stop a guy with his wingspan, with his size, with his hops. I mean, in my opinion, one of the best cutters in the country. Showed it at WCC. He can hang with the top teams in the world. Um, really good recovery, both by RB and Sisyang. Um, and yeah, that's what you want to see in D line. Absolute hustle. So tight game, three three. Yeah, stream didn't die. Um, we're having to switch between phones. Um, Sometimes it just. Oh, maybe it died. Slight IT issues as we're trying to live stream this from the stadium. Uh, if you missed, you missed uh, what you missed out on was Shok's O line going to work, doing what they do best. Um, score now is 3 3. Shok's D line is on, playing a, playing a zone with three girls, putting the girls to work. Some might say ZD will be very comfortable with this because ZD brought the whole scary girl zone defense to a new level. They will be very comfortable. And they are, they're moving it as well, swinging it out. Moving, Shinya holding it this. What about this handler combination, right? Shinya. Would we Diho Diho is a two-way player. He could he could be both a handler and a cutter. So such a good player to have. Transitioning straight into the midfield. Oh, a little bit of a bubble. That's fine. Regain your composure. So much good movement. It's so difficult to pin down because they've got four handlers just cycling, cycling through. You can burn a cut and the next handler is in place. Kelly's ready for the reset. Woodway is ready to reset. Woodway on the sidelines. Shinye maybe kicking it out. Dio the disc. Nice low release. Breaking right through the, the girl cup, you can call it. 
girls, short girls working very hard. Oh, it's not in, it's not in yet. Good call there. Swinging it out, Kelly with a diss. Again. Oh, what a throw by Shinye. Right. Small pop, small swings, and then Shinye there with a swing that was half the breadth of the field. Way to open up the defense, sucking in all the short defenders. Very smart play, very patient play. Impressive stuff by ZD. 4 3 now. That was just put right in his path. Jerevel showing his disc skills. Jerevel a quick reset, stall was high. Right, Arvin popping out for Yenling. Free swing. Ooh! Yenling probably had a little bit more time than she thought. Um, so, strange one. But again, Shok, Shok letting ZD have a sniff at, at getting the break. Great put. Great put. See this D line just willing to take the risk. You know, high risk, high reward. Oh, good D by J. Good D by J. Shutting it down. Arvin coming down, very aware of the space vacated by the handlers. Right. Darian have a look deep. Oh. Probably a right look. Probably a right look. Javier was a true shit handler. Defenders marking under him, not wanting to get the disc. Could be a right call. Could be a right call by, by Cleon to mark J under, pushing in deep, forcing Darian to throw. You, know, you think about it, you rather that combination. Darian throwing, Javier going deep rather than Jabel throwing and Darren going deep. So, smart play, smart defensive play by Cleon. Time up caught by ZD. Alright, let's see what they can do. 4-3, consulting a break to 5-3, puts them in a good position at halftime. Alright, focused on the other game now. We'll give you, we'll try to give you an update on the score. Freak show again on offense. Alright. Gerald with the disc on the sideline. Yongta, nice jig to get free to Brendan. The men playing deep, deep put. Oh, Cheryl. Even under pressure from Reynard. Reynard covering deep even though it's not his space. But it's hard to stop Cheryl going deep. She's way too quick. This into space as well.
Last I checked, the score was 4-3 to FS. I think with that, it, that was 10 minutes ago. Might be a one-point game. Uh, we will get you the updates at halftime on both sides. Really interesting setup. You can see ZD setting up an offense now. They're loading their men all behind, all in the handler position. Girls are downfield, right? And it could go two ways. It could go with the men dribbling and weaving all the way down, right? Or letting the girls take over. My bet is on letting these girls take over. These this line of girls are physically very dominant. If they can connect with that first pass. The girls are going to take over. Maybe not. Boys get to work. Kind of resetting. Ealing with the discs. Let's see where the boys hang back. Not quite. Ealing had to go for the dump. A lot of space on the break side. Keon keeping the disc alive. With the disc up. A lot of cover downfield. Slight miscom. Yeah, slight miscom I think. I'm not sure whether that was the play they intended to get a guy going deep. Arvin read the play, Kai Kai was there as well for sure. Oh, yeah. Miss chance. Alright, Shok taking the time. This is Shok's. This is Shok's O line. What Shok set up now similar, they are isolating three of them. Shusen has the middle space. Alright. Kai Kai with the disc. The yelling. Gotta get the disc moving. Shusen with good. Oh! Uncharacteristic drop. Shusen doing all everything right to get a separation. Probably a little bit too eager to turn and look downfield to go eye off the disc. Again, ZD with that gender split. Let's see whether the boys stay away, let the girls take over. Healing. No, nope. boys come back in. <laughs> Lane there. Again, took the eyes off the disc. Slightly too eager. That tells you a lot about the, the tempo that both teams want to play. Both teams want to get to this turn, look downfield as quick as possible, carry on that flow. They're in great footwork, keeping the defender behind him. Alright, Yelling controlling with Arvin. Arvin, very, very good inside, up the line. Jay with the pass. Not quite in yet. Kai Kai right outside the end zone. Smoshi keeps composure. Oop. That's a stall out. Ooh. Not quite the level of, of reset support that, that Kai Kai needed. Right outside the end zone. That's a shame. ZD with yet another chance. But ZD just needs to get it to their girls. It's hugely impressed. Ah, great deep cut. Shusen switched off ever so slightly. Great put out in the space. Let the girls think, oh, not quite. Boys came in. Illegal with the disc. She has to throw to make things happen. CD with a score. 5 3. Oh, hold on, there is a call. Not quite, not quite a score yet. I'm 
I'm not sure what the call is. Pick. pick. Huh? Seems like a pick, yeah. Hand signals, very helpful. Shattered, eating the exact same throw. The right one, defenders to the old mark the inside. Great touch by Yiling. CD 5 3 up. Taking the time, calling the lines. It's a bit longer than 45 seconds, I think, is the yeah. other rules. Uh, we'll see whether Shok has an issue with that. Shok might. <laughs> Shok might. Wouldn't mind a few more seconds or additional minute to compose themselves. Um, the game very much in favour of, of ZD right now. They seem to have figured out Shok's offence able to slow them down or put that just that slight bit of pressure um Shook's still getting it close to the end zone though so don't count Shook, don't count Shook out they are the players with the maturity been in this position before um you know, my two cents which is not worth very much i reckon but i think Shook, there will be a twist and there will be a, a close fight to the halftime score ZD now, the, probably a second D-line is Eong, John John, Ralph for the boys. You gotta forgive me, I don't know all the girls and all their names. But... Really good matchups that we have, Arvin, Ralph and Arvin. There's a call, there's a call on the field. Is that Shirley? Shirley with a really good coach identifying that's where the space where the handler reset is going to take place. Pick hold, pick hold. Really hits up defense, really impressive stuff. And that's what that's what ZD is doing, like just ever so slightly annoying. Rather the disc or oh, chance of layout bid. Not quite. Yi Hong taking this down. Swinging out to the middle. John John moving it between the boys. 
girls are stacked up in the end zone. You expect them to dominate the end zone. These girls have speed. Just waiting for their chance, waiting for their time. There we go. Inez coming in on the break side. That was all thrower though. John John lefty. Low release inside. What a throw. Six three. Half time is point cap is at um well it's half time at time cap. So uh, updates on the other game it is six five to free show. Should be looking at half time at seven points, whichever team which is seven. Uh, I would imagine it's the same here, half time with whichever team which is seven. So ZD Midnight and Shop Defend. So update 6 all on the other side. So a tight, tight game. Shop having a few outlets for deep on both lines. I mean, Shop Defend has, has Darian and you've seen Darian go up deep. Shook deny as Raynard. Uh, only he's still under twenty four, but so dominant in the air, uh, and he's not bad coming under as well. So um, Shook with really pulling the field, making it difficult to stop them under because they have a deep option. Let's focus back on the game field. Interesting, Shook's O line switched up a little bit. Jethro handling with Darian. Um, maybe going back to bit and butter basics with, with the handler movements. Prem also playing much closer down to the stack. Putting Angie and Gerald to be the finishers. Um, I fancy a bit of more handler movement. You know, Jethro has been around for the longest time but uh, he's hard to stop him and Darian what a combination good swings Max is there for the outlet Prem there with the disc again just ever slightly so casual both from Prem to throw and Jethro waiting for this to come to him Shok digging herself into a hole it's not looking pretty for them Right, ZD, they have a way to punch things through. John John to this. No, that's not John John. 77 is. Sorry, not sure who that is. Cleon now to this. ZD walking it, using her legs. Huge hammer. Wow. There's a call. What a throw. Leading hammer throw at that height, at that angle. Right. It goes to show the confidence that ZD has right now. 7 3. I think that's half time actually. Um, well, we'll see. We'll turn our attention to the other game. 6 all if we're not wrong. Quick show to this. Quick show loading up their men at the handless space. Fabian to the disc. Like if you want to watch a team that really utilizes their women especially down for you look at Freak Show like they have their women there we go massive put straight to Doreen like just having just giving the spacing to the girls to do their thing trusting them to have the throws trusting them to finish like, huge fan huge fan of the way that they use their women looks like 
if I guess right, 7 6. It's a freak show, half time. Right. Close the game on that side. Uh, 7 3 on this side of the field, ZD Midnight. Uh, lots to play for the second half. I would put a bit of my money on, on Shook Defend coming back a little bit but um, I'm getting a few looks around me saying 7-3 <laughs> is a bit of a gap If you have picks and views, type it out in the comments Who do you think will come out on top between ZD Midnight and Shook Defend? Let us know In the meantime, I'm going to take a water break Get a drink of water Half time 7 minutes, we'll come back again in 5 do join us then.
speak up a little bit. So, yeah. All right, ladies and gents, welcome back. Taking off 7-3 ZD. Had a few people say, saying that they, are, they reckon Shook will come back, it'll regroup. Others saying ZD is too strong. Uh, time will tell. If I'm a betting man, I would not put money on this right now. Um, there's just way too much quality going both ways. And keys to the game, keys to the game for Shok is they really just need to take care of this that much more. Like they are doing everything right to get in the right position to score, and it's just one pass that's that's letting them down. Um, you know, they clean that up, it'll be very different. I do question whether ZD, sorry, Shok will be able to get a break on the ZD O line. All right. This ZD O line is very strong, very stable. Let's see. Shok starting on O first though. Back to the uh, back to their standard O line. Maybe not the best start with a slightly short pass. Javel getting to his knees to pick that up. I've been getting to work again. Really well done. Shisen going deep. A lot of work happening downfield, but not quite a yardage gain. Right. Good break to Darian. Carrying on the oh, not quite. Keeping this in the middle. It's a free porch again, Ling. Downfield, Arvin again, making those cuts, giving those options. Tireless. That's why Arvin's one of the best cutters. He does get free. If he times it right, he's always open. Very hard to stop as well. Okay, with a ooh, possible quick give and go. Not quite. Davis with the disc. Yelling yeah, with smart movements. Oh, again. Shisen was free, she had separation. Just a slight disconnect between her path and where Yelling wanted her to go. Um, very odd. But I've kept saying it's very odd since the start. So maybe it's not so odd right now. Alright. Maybe it's just not Shulk's day, I hate to say it. But all the Shulk fans out there, it is gonna be a, it will take a significant turn of events right now. Oh, Sisyang with the save, that's a poor shot in the lane by Yen Ling. RB number 32. I mean, this guy has hopped, but he has given better throws. Just like that, effortless, into space. DD 8-3, Abi again. Well, not again. I'm sorry. I know the Abi from this time. Go to Wells. Go to mixed team. You put a guy of his height and his reach, you're thinking deep player. Nope. You want this guy to hold of this. You want him to take the shots. Fantastic break side around. ZD carrying on where he left off. Alright. 8-3 now. The other side of the field, it looks like Freak Show just scored, making it 8 6. From a neutral's perspective, having an all Shook final probably wouldn't be the most exciting, but at the same time, not having a Shook team in the finals, I have to say I would be a bit disappointed. Um, but you've got three clubs. You know, in the final four, um, each of them with their own strengths, with their own right to be state that claim to be the best in Singapore. That's why we're having national championships. I'm excited. Still 40 minutes to go at least. A lot of ultimate action. Not quite over, especially on the far field. Shokes just two points down. 8-3 now. Darian taking that shot. Shusen, you fancy her in this position. Quick score, 8-4. It 
Yeah, maybe that's right. Maybe maybe Shok needs to just consolidate Tristan going deep. Alright, and let Darian and Arvin take the shot for Tristan. Yeah, easier said than done because everyone's gonna back Tristan to come in. But that's not quite been working for um for Shok, so good adjustment. Good adjustment from Shok there, changing out the flow and changing out the priorities for the cutters. ZD with the O line. It will be interesting. They are cold. They haven't been playing. Um, you would hope that most O lines have the maturity to basically come in, even after not playing four or five points, and still play at the output necessary. You know, I like these guys. They have the experience. Good Hui Chunye, under 24, part of the for team that took third in the world. Right. Joel Burnett as well. Good Hui immediately taking charge. Right. Looking, looking off the tee. Girls taking over. That's Iris with the disc. Back to Chunye. Chunye to Kelly is nice inside. Whole field is open. Surely have a good break side movement. Looked off. Resets happening again. ZD starting again, looking downfield. Good spacing. Nice, Shirley coming in, filling the space. Oh, so close. Right. ZD not faced at all, moving to this left to right, up and down. Not taking a deep shot, being patient. Chin here. Throw was a little bit further out than it needed to be, a little bit higher, but Chin, very good awareness with his feet. Towing the line, or well, towing just inside the line. Um, o line doesn't seem to have any rust. 9 4. You should just score 8 7. Shop just got a feature result. So Shook just scored far field 8-7 to freak show still. <laughs> gotta be looking, Shook's gotta be looking for breaks on both sides of the field. <laughs> At certain point in time you ZD's gotta be asking themselves, do we rest the legs? We've got a five point gap. Do we spread the lines so that they have legs for the finals? Uh, they definitely have some depth, right? Some of the younger players giving them opportunity to play in the semi-finals or mixed nationals is going to be huge for them. It helps save the legs for the more senior players. We'll see. We'll see. D lines on. Strong D line from ZD still. So keeping the face with Javis and Javil. Tristan again coming in. Alright, you get isolation with all oh, miscommunication with Arvin and Darren. Not quite working with these to final three. Like on their day, they're actually unstoppable, Arvin, Darren, and Tristan. But it's just been miscom after miscom. There's still time for them to turn it around, but they got to turn it around quick. Get a field, six short offense. Oh, sorry, let's not split the attention. Arby again, let's see whether he bombs it deep. Not quite, takes a safe option to Ralph. Ralph back to Arby, sidelines. Right outside his end zone. Not much space to play with. Jam it up the sideline. There was a call. I think it's a push off. 
probably get to the open side. So I'll be with this on the open side sideline. Cynthia would have really, oh well, this came back in so it doesn't make a difference. Really good hand block by Darian. I'll be looking for the back end again. Oh. Oh. It is tough to watch guys. I have to be honest, it is tough to watch because if you watch these players and, and the output they had, you know they are capable of, of good things, amazing things. But so far, everything amazing has been coming just from ZD. Making the right calls, coupling with taking some risk, all the right time. I'll be again on the sidelines, taking a safe option, putting it out into space. John with the layout save. I'll be back again. Straight should be putting. I'll be back on the open side sideline. Right? You want to put it back in the middle of the field where you can take your shots. There we go. Let's see what Abi does. Easy swing, moves up the line, using his legs. Ralph, very patient. All right, let's see if anyone gets a cut. Ralph is giving a cut. Ooh. You can see the idea there. Ralph going for the handless space. I'll be slightly too eager. Maybe a bit of youth at play. Seems like it's 9-7 to freak on the other field. 9-7 freak show on the other field. We're not going to split your attention. We're going to focus on um, <laughs> ZD against Show. <laughs> Javis with this. With Javis. Looks like they're playing short first. Looking to hit the stack. Oh, not quite. No option. So Kong is high. Time up forward by ZD. It's 9-8 on the other field. Show just got. Nine four. Nine four one field uh, on the first field on the far field it is nine eight if I'm not wrong. Um, nine eight the free show free show starting on offense. That's a tight game. All right, you do you know, from a spectator's point of view. Choke gets one or two breaks that might make things interesting. Um, but at the moment, it's just everything's a little bit static. You do question who in Choke is going to be the catalyst. Now, at this time, you look to the leaders, you look to someone to pull the team out of trouble. For me, I'll be looking at Arvin um, as the guy to pull the team together. You might look at some of the older players, Jethro and Sam, right, just in a huddle to get them refocus, right. And ZD side, well, if I'm the coach, do what you're doing, just keep the confidence high, don't take the gas just off yet. All right, 9 4, 20 minutes to go, it seems. Yeah. 12, 12 yeah. So 12.40 is game, we've got 17 minutes left. 17 minutes left to game. Alright. 
Can you set up a butt stack? John John with the disc, back to RB. Very happy to play down the line. Ealing with the disc. Ealing can do wonders with the disc. Hong picking it up. RB again, control tower. <laughs> oh. High release backhand to Ralph. All the space there. Again, Darren very, very. Oh. Uh, Hong with a great grab. Way to be aggressive. Way to go in there in between the defenders. Very brave. Oh. He had groans all around because Ealing was free. Open side pass. You put your money on that being a being a score, bring it to 10-4. 10 4 would be comfortable. The Shook scores now at a 9-5. Gives them slight hope, slight belief. Right. It's not much time left as well for Shook. You would think that they would need a quick score here. Look at it again, Arvin. Arvin, two options, Shusen or Darren going deep. That's what's been missing. Just the communication with those three. Alright, Handler's looking to move it. Oh! That is a push D by Ealing. Junky defense, causing confusion, causing chaos. Very nice. Very intelligent. Ralph with the disc, RB again, controlling it. Middle of the field, open a break, all the movement in the world. 10 4. ZD, what a game they're playing. What a mature game. It is a sign of a team coming of age. Right? The last mix stats we had in 2019, there was a ZD Freak Show Finals. Very close, two point game at the end of the day. Right? And this team has youth on their side. And it does seem to be finally coming together. 10 4. Just the maturity of which they're getting the breaks, controlling the points. Very impressive. Rallying cries from the Shook sidelines. Shook, one of the most successful clubs in Singapore. Um, they may be down, but they will have their pride they're playing for. I, I would not expect them just to. Sorry if you guys saw that. Fabian against Raynard. Fabian yep, is captured. <laughs> 30 years old, playing like he's still 24. Alright, massive sky. Freak show again with the D. Alright, focus is on the other game. Freak show right outside the end zone. Gerald to Genie. Let's keep our attention there. Tight game. We show the score. Two point game. Not sure about the score. Whether they scored. Like, I think uh, I think Fitchell's up by two points. So 8-10 to Fitchell. Likely 8-10. Let's get confirmation on that. Let's bring you back to the main field again. Aaron Sia's on the field. Aaron Sia. Moving it off the sidelines, moving into Prem, near the sidelines. Junky defense again from, from, um, from ZD. Shook shredding through that, playing very quick with the blades, with the dishes. Aaron again getting the disc back, Braden with the disc. Handlers moving it around. Shook very comfortable to us. Three handlers behind, sucking in, sucking in four ZD. Zone players, Prem coming in. Ooh. 
you can see the speed at which they want to play. The disc might not quite be moving, you know, with your spin and the beautiful float, but it works. All right, Prem turning back, looking downfield, almost looking for Shawnee. All right, Gerald getting in on the action. So now pulling more people behind the disc. Right, moving back slightly. There is space. There is space for Angie. Zidi doing a good job pulling people back, but Gerald finding that gap around around the wall. They gotta consolidate that by pushing through. ZD with a great job recovering. Right space, right space. This just needs a little bit more float and Prem would have been there. But again, that's been short story, right? Just identify right spaces, bad execution, and things are just not working out. ZD looking so clean, looking so comfortable. Oh, well, just as I said that, Gerald hits up defense. Let's see where they can consolidate. Uh, Kai Kai choosing the holster. Andrew the disc. Braden with swing out the prem. Looking at the overheads, one side. Need to punch through the. You're playing definitely through the middle, right? Hinging through the middle. They're having no outlets on the sidelines, which makes it going. If you're going through the middle, you have to give at least an outlet on the sidelines to go around the cup. Well, that's it. Taking the hammers, bypassing. Right, no outlet to move around the zone. Choosing to keep it in the middle. Which is slow and steady wins the race, I guess. Except you don't quite have time to be slow and steady right now if you're chasing a game. Punching through, going through the middle, well done. Again, losing yards again. Gerald wants to pick up the pace. Panelists slowing it down again. There is a clear run that Kai Kai and Aaron has. ZD does look a bit gassed. Alright. Braden slowing it down. Ten more minutes, nine more minutes to the end of the game. There is space there. Kai Kai. Finding the reset. Gerald going back down the handle. Very smart to save space. Prem on the far side. Shoni is the middle. If you can find her, not quite. No natural width that Shok's offering. Right. There is the hammer option. Oh, foul call, I think. There is a hammer option to NG, but with two men behind, you know, that is always a risk. Again, Angie's open. Prem didn't see her. Over the top to Gerald. Nice play. Nice play by Prem. 10 5. Side field, show up on offense. Slightly overthrown hammer, right look. I mean, there's no challenge for Fichu at all. Andy playing the last back. Uh, brave, brave call by Fichu to put Andy as last back. Um, I wouldn't rate him very highly on his deep ability. But I rate him very highly on his throwing ability, and that's what he's doing now. Take out the disc. 
Time out cold. Play right time, seven minutes left. Oh, it's a deep cut. Oh, hosted. A little bit of trouble. Oh, great awareness. Great awareness by JVL. Made the lane as small as possible. Making, making Bunhui have to squeeze in there. And when it just went out, JVL knew exactly where it's going to go. JVL to this. Yenling getting on the sidelines again. Not much happening downfield. Javis getting there, oh, just about great. I mean, so tight for Yenling, squeezing it right around. Sean, ooh. Shawnee catching at this at speed. I mean, she got her body behind the disc. But at that speed, it's hard. Deep look up. Um, that was interesting. Like, can't tell whether that was a trip. Over his own feet, or was it a clash of clash of legs? By the clash of legs, it was a Shawnee Shawnee's in front. So how would that work out? So let them resolve that call. Might take a while, so we might pan to the far field where Shok again is an offense. It does look like Shok's offense. Oh, turnover. <laughs> foul called, foul called, uncontested. Shok retains the disc. Another try right outside the end zone. Oh, Debs. Debs very brave going shoulder in first. Andy tried to step in there. Uh, if anything, Andy bounced off Debs. No love for Andy today. Discussion time is up, so it's contested. Alright, back to the main field. I think we resolved the call. Contested foul. This goes back. CD with another chance to go downfield. Call it old school, but taking these shots from the sidelines just seems at much higher difficulty. 
the throw has to just be that much more precise because he is concerned about sidelines. ZD is showing very, very high technical skill to be able to pull it off numerous times. Like right now, again, straight down the line. Good body out, good cut. It's just really amazing skill. Really amazing the skills to a down the line throw. A little bit of a little bit of contact for the last catch. I think it looks like it's okay. I think it's Iris and Jerry with a bit of a collision. Uh, you would hate to see anyone get injured right before the finals, but I think that's probably fine. Oh, some bleeding. The score is 11-5. If it stays this way, in a minute, it will be time cap. Um, 90 minutes. So they'll finish the point. Um, because it's more than two. Now we're curious about the score for the other side. Uh, we'll bring you to the action, the score on the other side. Um, once we get an idea of the score. Bad collision in the end zone. Nick freak show on offense. We're going to shift our attention to the far field. Uh, really because time cap's on. So to explain to everyone, time cap's on. Um, it's a game... Well... Basically, whoever scores this, the game will be over. Um, between ZD Midnight and Shulk Defend. So uh, ZD Midnight's won this. Slightly anticlimactic. But what we're hoping for is a climatic finish to the other one. The other game being Freak Show and Shok Deny. I think there's a call. There was a collision, but play still stands. Shok with the disc. Shok walking his way up. Neven coming down to handle. Greg with great movement, get an inside pass. Even staying as a handler, a lot of handler movements, quick handler movements, Faith getting in on the action. Cheryl against Faith, that's a good matchup for speed. Andrew C coming down, looks like a handler weave all the way down, shows comfortable, pushing all the way up, let the handlers doing the work. If anything, Neven coming in, handling is a bit of a surprise, you would think that he would stay deep. sure about the score. I'm guessing it's one point difference. So Shook scores, it might actually be tied. Oh, such moves offense for Shook. Moving up, up the line between the handlers. Quick gif and goes. Once they throw, they're running. Like, it's easy for individual players to do that, to throw and run. But as a team, when you got four or five players, linking them up is not easy. Um, so Shook right outside the end zone. Still right outside the end zone with a chance for a score. Both Shooks. Both right outside the end zone. Yeah, both Shooks right outside the end zone. All right, Shook defend with the score. Uh, to bring it to 11-6, that's game. ZD's taking the game. ZD's going to the finals. That should be a good one to watch. Judging based on their game plan and, and the quality which is shown, like 
it is going to be a really difficult game matchup for either Shook or Freak Show. Physicality combined with precision throwing, very very impressive. Um, you do wonder are they favourites going in? Never won mixed nets, so from that perspective, maybe ZDs are still ZD is still the underdog, but based on how they've been playing throughout this entire tournament, you could say they are the favourites. Alright, we're gonna shift our attention to the far side field. Um, view slightly obscured with the high fives um, in the first field. But it does look like the game is still on, which means that it's one it might be tight, it might be one point difference. Let me try my best to get a score update for you guys. <laughs> Sorry guys, camera fell. I don't know the score. We get a sec. Yeah, I have Jimmy now. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Um, well, bonus footage. We're gonna stream the other field now. Um, it's a bit grainy because we're still using iPhones for filming. Don't quite have a budget for the nice cameras yet, just yet. But we're hoping with more views. It's something that UPA can invest a little bit of money in, get us streaming on YouTube around the world. It does look like it is still very much game on. Freak Show will be on offense, right, which means they have a chance to score. Last we checked, show, Freak Show was up. So my guess it is either tied or Freak Show's out by one. Alright, I just got confirmation. It is Universe Point. Right. Freak Show on offense with a chance to score. Alright, this is exactly why we have mixed nationals for these tight games. Two clubs with immensely rich traditions and history. Very strong rivalry between Freak Show and Show. If you want to go back to history, um, it is the case where Freak Show was set up first, but um, Show came along after Freak Show, dominated the scene for many, many years. In the recent times, Freak Show has come back, claimed gender championships, three years running, um, and mixed nets in 2019. So there is very much a lot at stake here, a lot of rivalry. All right, I'm gonna try to clear out the sidelines so that we can have a video footage of the game. This goes up. That was quick. Is one D with the score? Freak show going back to try and test it. If you don't know, is one D is one D is now insta famous because uh, he's been captured at walls with a few highlight play reels. Uh, that's a highlight play reel right there. Going deep. Taking the score for Freak Show, taking Freak Show to the finals. Ladies and gents, you've got your final matchups. Freak Show against ZD. That game will be at 4.45. I will be back for that. I will have a co-commentator. Uh, so not just me, hopefully a bit more banter. But thank you for joining us. We will see you again at 4.45 for the finals. We will also have... Um, we will also have the third, fourth facing and commentary for that game. So we'll see you guys then.